Hey there, everyone. Uh, this is Al Cow playing Fragile Dreams, the Feral Runes of the Moon. And today, I mean, it looks an awful lot like I'm in a position to perhaps win the video game on this day. Here we are at the Red Tower. We finally we, we managed to find it. The moon is gigantic. It changed shape and size. Well, not really shape, but it did change si size throughout the game. This is a tower, it's red, and uh, Shin, the mighty science wizard, went up there. I'm on, and I'm in pursuit. Okay, we're, we're, we are going to be physically going up this thing. My inventory is full, to the brim. Can't really do much with it. Where's that? Oh. Okay, what do I do about this though? Do I have to fight you? Alright, see, because I got my sword equipped. Whoa. They did not expect that to happen. But I don't want to use up my sword and break it on my way to the confrontation. Wow, I managed to miss them now. So, if I'm going to be dulling the edge of something, it's going to be something that's dull to start with. 143. I saw your license plate. That's right, I'm gonna jump right through you because like you are just like taking up that space. Mrs. Robot. Oh, okay. Alright. I am happy you made it this far. Is that frame? That is frame. It's you. Yeah. But how? What's up with that? You the got a ghost? Of you fulfilling your mission is is I suppose that is irrelevant. Do machines have ghosts? Knowing you, you will be successful to the very end. Well, thank you. I am by your side, always watching over you. Good luck. Thank you, personal frame. You were very memorable. There's another robot. That was silly. Like, I clearly saw my club go right through you, and you were like, well, I'm not programmed to be tangible right now. I, I knew it. Oh, ration? Yeah, I could, I guess, eat it. I don't know if there's gonna be another fireplace on top, like it's, but you know what, if I'm gonna be eating something, eat a tuna, which heals for less, and replace it with a ration. So that's, that's the way to make this happen. There you go. Here we go, rationed. Making quick, smart decisions. That's what this is all about. Going up the Sparrow Staircase, and then the robot appears, and I mess up my combo, and I'm just too close to them, because like, you can see Seto's head kind of clip inside the robot as he leans in, but that's okay. Part ghost, part robot, all enemy. Is it going to be Crow? No. You look tuckered out. It's the small girl. But there's still That's an old woman. To go. So don't fade away yet. You hear? Don't overdo it. If you're feeling spent, have yourself a good rest. That's just a good idea in general. Thank you. I will. Ah, there's my boy. I believe in you. Some interesting light things happening Just on Seto's sleeve you here. Believed in me. Did you I believe in you? It. You hear? I mostly got stuff for you. <laughs> uh, oh, right, well, that's neat. We get like get a little bit of a look over the many whoa, the many relationship we've done throughout the game. I'm looking to sing crow again, but maybe it won't happen. Oh no, it's another robot! Oh my! Oh yeah, so... That's my strategy. I guess I've determined that just tanking the first hit is faster than positioning yourself in such a way that you, like, avoid being hit and stuff. Oh, that's just too much. I know. It's too big. I, I, I don't want to play that puzzle. Well, no, like, I would need to consume stuff or, like, abandon stuff to be able to fit a whole oxygen tank. Because an oxygen tank is pretty big. Yeah, okay. See, this is why I don't dodge. I don't think you can actually avoid this fight at all. This fight is happening. 
whether you want to or not. Okay, I'm actually gonna be eating after this round, it looks like, because I'm in the yellow. Alright, time for some bumblebee tuna. Some more. I can afford that. Not the water yet. Where's my... There you go. Tuna! Here you go. Cover your face in bees and consider yourself healed. We did it. Together, we can make it happen. I took more damage because I tried to position myself. It didn't work out. Are you ready? Yeah, crow! Show me what you're made of. You're almost there. Crow? Yeah! You got a ghost. A robot ghost. Oh, don't get so excited. I said I was your friend, right? And because we're friends, we gotta look after Wait. each other. Wait, oh no, you are dead. I saw your body in the yeah. dam. Thanks, Crow. No problem. Now don't kill yourself, but give him all you got. All right. That wasn't character for Crow. You know, I'm just going up this thing, man. Uh, all right, I guess I'm going down this thing now. Now I'm somewhere. Accurate statement. Can I play around with these radars? Doesn't look like it, sadly. Um, oh, there he is. There's old man Joe. All right. Uh, okay. If you go over here, you can. It's. I had to look at a map, but yeah. There's a ladder way here. Here's a katana. Well, that's nice of them to offer a spare. All right. I will equip sword. And I think I will consume a food to top me off. Like that just seems smart. Uh, water. Like, the rations, I think, heal- I- you know what, it doesn't matter. I think they heal about the same. I see I'm not full. That's fine. And I will sort up. Gotta go through my inventory. Here we go. Yes. So I have four rations. Keep that in mind. Yes, I was hoping for a fireplace to be able to just heal back up, but I'm not seeing one, so... Hey, look, if he makes one appear, that's fine. Like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, take a chance here. Like, not here, not on this. Like, obviously. But okay, we got flying pants. Still Why holding his glitch cube. Why do you insist on wiping out mankind? Communication through speech is meaningless. You will never comprehend this fact. He says communicating through speech. You're right. I don't. I don't understand you at all! But, no matter what, I know I need people. I'm sick of being all alone in this world! Words a clean will sky. get you no further! Alright. Fight, round two. I got a sword. He's got the fjord. It's a little dirty. This is a much smaller battle arena. He's moving like he's moving forward, but he's staying put. I'm waiting for him to have a headache. Like, unless it's a different fight. Like, yeah, maybe the rules are different. No, okay. I have to wait for him to have a headache, so I'm waiting. Go ahead and uh, headache. All right, that's the same. How was that? Yeah, just tank the hits. That way you can have a full combo and not be interrupted. I did not take the hit there. Like, I should have... If I'm not... I should take the time to hit the meat orbs. Then... Like, being realistic. But, uh, yeah, it's a fight of being patient. You're here. How was that? Alright, well, I took... See, because, yeah, like, he sits there doing nothing, waiting for... Oh! That's a shame, though. So, I guess I want to be, like, maybe a bit closer. Oh, shoot. Uh, I might just die, so... But I need to get my hits in. Ah! Right on the chair. 
Right on the chair? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I I noticed my health. Don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. But see, like, if I can just get in there, get my full combo, like, I hurt him a lot. Uh, if I had gone a critical, like, I would have... Uh, that's new. Can I hit you now? Well, not if that happens. I am... Okay, well... Oh, did you heal? Yeah, uh, you got, like, a ton of health now. What's up with that? Okay, well... I guess that's gonna happen. You're just kind of gliding to and fro. You just pick your nose. Pretty good. I'm glad that you're taking this fight seriously. I know that... Yeah. Okay, he's gonna do a throw. Yeah. Oh, you're annoying. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and consume a ration. Whoops. Yeah, I know it's already equipped. It's fine. It was a misclick. It's okay. These things happen. Yeah, I'm just basically waiting for my turn to do damage. <laughs> it's pretty good. And this... And he's just not doing anything. He's picking his nose, like... Okay. Get close, so that you have... To, you don't have to waste time approaching. Alright, well, I don't have to take the hit if I can afford not to. There we go. Alright, that doesn't didn't interrupt it or anything. Yeah, I'm mostly just kind of struggling with the fact that no one's doing anything. Okay, alright, good. Close. Shoot! No, I compl I guess I misjudged how much damage Why that makes. Am I getting so Okay, alright, that's fair. That's on me, like, clearly. That's my fault. But, uh... Developers of the game, you guys realize that having to repeat, like, the step up and the talking and all that, that removes a lot of what makes it special, right? Having to repeat, just, are, you're aware of this, correct? Look at that. Disgusting, but I'm not gonna sit through the whole thing again, so we now live in a world of disgust Oh sweet good I didn't change out of my samurai sword this time because I Know they give me a samurai sword at the end but uh There's a fireplace here did I just miss it? I mean, I'm going to accept it if I just... N no, I... N n n nothing here is what I want. Um... I'm going to accept it if I just missed it. Like, it's okay, fair enough, but... I literally do not remember, like, this being here at all. Okay, I missed the fire fireplace. Like, fair. I guess it's just... Oh. <laughs> wow, Sai isn't here. That that oh, feels man. different now. Top of the stairwell. So I did not get any health drops at all during my walk up. So but I feel like I end up with more health this way. Just more health objects, but like of lesser quality. So I guess that means be a lot more permissive with just letting myself drink my life away. All right. You let me skip the cutscene, which is really nice. The feet shin. This very, very passive boss fight where it's like, all right, you gotta do a thing. Whoa. Ho, ho. All right, sure. All right, got two hits and that's fine. Yeah, like I said, be more permissive. As no, as soon as it's my turn, go ahead and eat a 
eat a thing. It's gonna take longer, it's gonna be clunkier, but it's what needs to happen. Whoa, action standing there. We did it. How's that? I, just, I need to get up though. Okay, well that's something that was done. Alright, I'm in the yellow so I can consume something a bit bigger. There we go. Good times. 400 HP. Still not full. You're still walking in place a lot. How's that? Oh boy. Gotta get up. Gotta get up and get my hits in. And that was a big waste of time, so that's pretty good. No, I'm clearly, I'm on the thing. I'm on the arrow. Like, you know what that means. I want to click, I want to interact with the hand. All right, we got to wait more. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Whoa. Oh, you're doing lasers. I think if I duck, maybe I'll dodge. One. What? Okay. Literally nothing happened there. And now my swords are going through you. Ugh. Yeah, you're a ghost. Good laser attack. I like that one a lot. You should use them more. Alright, well, here we are. Okay. Globalon zone. How is that? Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Sordin. Alright, I'm gonna eat a ration as soon as I can. I could drink the water, I guess. Like, that's gonna be a fair amount of health. Not as much as a ration, but puts me somewhere. Made it to somewhere. Globalon 5. Favorite daytime sci fi. Alright, so you. Alright. Stop swooshing. Alright, there we go. You're on your knees. Whoa! Gonna. Gonna katana broke at the end of the fight. Because obviously. Wait, so did last time, did he just heal? Because I got him down low, and then his bar was filled Why? again. Why are you trying huh. to destroy the world? It turned its back on me. What are you what doing do you here? The world did? Long ago, when I was part of the Human Empathy Expansion Project, I secretly made myself the first test subject. I felt it was my responsibility that a project of this magnitude be carried out as safely as it possibly could. Well, that clearly worked. As a result of the tests, I no longer relied on words to reveal the thoughts and feelings of those around me. I believed in the success of this project to grant everyone the ability to empathize by making their thoughts transparent. But you see, when I listened to the thoughts of those all around me, all I heard was jealousy and contempt. My colleagues acted kind. But behind their innocent I called words that. was concealed resentment. I called this. Some of them envied my scientific ability and youth. Others supposed the very core of my character. Turns out you realize Your everyone's an a-hole. clothing. Such contempt. Flooding the air around me. The weak scorned. The strong envied. Even the elderly were regarded not with respect but disdain. And at the heart of all those negative thoughts was always me, me, me. Whatever empathy may have been felt for others was quickly trampled by people's self-interest. The world is overflowing with hatred and spite. So long as that bitterness remains in the minds of men, this thing we call society will be nothing more than a farce. The world is a hell, packed with mean-spirited monsters, imprisoned by their very natures, who hold on oh to boy. hate, revenge, and ill will. Even my parents turned against me. They saw me as a monster. They showed me nothing but hatred. 
Nobody ever understood me. No one loved me. Wanting to end it all. Why is that wrong? World ain't just yours, buddy. I don't... I don't believe you! You? I thought you supported me in my ideas. We'd both become AIs and start a new world. Um, no, what? Not like that. That came out of nowhere. I wanted... The only thing I ever wanted was to be with you. I just wanted to be near you. I needed to be part of your life. When I was brought to the lab, I was so lonely and scared. But you smiled at me and told me to hang on. Yeah, the only nice person that when you mentioned. When you visited and snuck me candies, you touched my hand with your gentle touch. The way it made me feel. You have no idea how happy I was. Shin, the truth is that I... Mm-hmm. M the sun. I love you. Oh, second guess. But why couldn't I sense that emotion? <laughs> Don't you see? When it comes to the important things, I guess you just have to put them into words. This is what happens when you <laughs> test things willy willy nilly on yourself without a control group or anything, idiot. Fictional scientists are the dumbest people in the world. Like, it's unbelievable. All so right, well. It goes. <laughs> the AI mainframe in its crystal form. We just killed that, it I guess. It will soon disappear now. And Glass Cage will never be able to be reactivated. Fool. Oh. You choose such an uncertain, intangible thing. That's the voice in the speakers. Love. The AI, I'm guessing. Thank you for everything you've done, Seto. Thank you. Sup, I guess. <laughs> Aw, he's crying. Not. I guess I see it. It's this is weird. It's very nineties anime. <laughs> In good and in bad. This is it. Oh, no, okay. Then we traveled together. Well, we had a game over. Well, the game is over. And after Stop countless appropriate. summers, multiple years. One day. Oh. I was all alone again. Wow. A peaceful land. At the oh. end of everything, I was truly and utterly alone. He said multiple summers. Could have been, we don't know how many years. <laughs> oh wow! Look, the moon is so full. Yeah. It sure is. I had forgotten how she sounded. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, they get to enjoy each other's company. Oh, hey, listen. In all this time, I don't think I ever got your name. She's taller than him. Ren. Ren. Seto. Yeah. <laughs> so fun fact, you know, you see how this game kind of well, hid her name and um, still plenty of survivors all over the world. Just revealed it now at the them. very end of the game. Okay. Turns out none of the promo material for the game ever hid her name and just uses it willy-nilly and it's just what flat out it? in the instruction manual. <laughs> they just introduce her Thank you, as Sato. Ren directly. For being here. So it's so weird that the game makes revealing Ren. her name Ren. of Ren. Uh, I guess what Seto's is it? stimpy. Seto? Um, like they make it this end game post final boss Thank reveal. You for being with me. 
Ren. But if you just read 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 the ma man the, the manual, read the manual, and you'll know her name. It's just it's so strange. But here we are. We got sea water from under side. Uh oh. Okay. If there's a song again, I'm gonna have to cut it off the video. Yeah. I'm not taking any chances at this point. Game audio is removed. You're dealing with my stupid voice saying things. It looks to be like probably the same song, but instead it's in Japanese. Feels like the same voice at the very least. All right, so farewell dreams, farewell moon. We never went on the moon. So, um, oh, that's kind of neat how you use, like, like, you make shapes. Cat, by the way. Look at that cat. There's been a trend the last year or two where I go way out of my comfort zone. And, you know, after playing shooters and games like that, completely different genres... I feel like this one was the game I was most uncomfortable. Not in terms of, um, like, content or whatever, but just out of what it is. Like, it's just a lot of... It's just very slow-paced game. The action is minimal. I mean, it's still there. Honestly, I, I feel like the game would be better without fights, honestly. Uh, yeah, and I feel like, so I enjoyed my time with it, but I feel like I was on the edge with this game a few times. The, the reality is this game, okay, there are going to be some people for whom this game is just absolutely perfect. It is the game for them, most excellent, super good it will create a huge impact, and that is awesome. The game has a lot of love behind it. There's a lot of creativity behind it. And, you know, they did what they could with what I assume were somewhat limited resources at the time. And you know what? I get it. But there, I feel like there's a cliff between those people and average video gamesters. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Like, I know a lot of people dip out of the LP series because of how slow the start was, and, and I get that. Like, that, yeah, I get that. And I know there's some people who dipped out because it was so dark and they couldn't see anything. I get that, too. Uh, but I also know that there's some people watching who are really into it, so... And that's the thing. I feel like that's sort of a, a mirror of the game itself. This is a game... For a very, very specific branch of humanity. And they will love it. And that is cool that games like that exist for... Just realize, yeah, they're not translating the credits at all. Are we going to get like a separate credit roll in English? Because that would be super lame. But I can't really look at these... Like, I can look, but I'm not going to gain anything from them. Oh, now we're back to normal game music. The tile screen, more specifically. Yeah, what, what an experience. I, I enjoyed the story for what it was. Like I said, it's very 90s anime, like late 90s anime. Um, which is fine. There's some strange logic holes that you just kind of have to accept. And I can do that. Like, I'm, I'll say a thing, but, like, I get it. It's fine. I get it. Um, I feel like the combat is the weakest point. Because of the combat, it's a big, like, rigmarole managing your inventory. Fighting is kind of clunky with a weirdly timed, uh, like, combo system that never felt natural during the entire playthrough. And, like, the game tries to be horror with, like, scary ghosts and weird creatures and, you know, very dark, spooky atmosphere. But as soon as you empower your character, and I felt empowered because I could kill most monsters pretty quickly, the fear doesn't set because it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's a body for me to whack at. That's not scary. Like, that's 
that's fun. That's adrenaline pumping. I feel like very often the game kind of worked again itself like that. And that's like the most obvious way. Uh, I was watching cutscenes. Special contents! We don't see what it is. So we don't get any English credits at all? And then it hard resets to this? <laughs> wow, what special content though?